There are a lot of conservative talking heads on YouTube, and I generally find them to be equal parts annoying and amusing. State of Daniel's recent video on abortion was especially facepalm inducing, though, and it begged for a response. He had a whole debate with an imagined abortion rights supporter, whom he of course completely outwitted in his video. Let's see how you do when your opposition's not imaginary, shall we, Daniel? Pro choice people say they support abortion because of women's rights. But what about the rights of women in the womb? Oh, it's because it isn't human yet, even though it has a heartbeat, kicks, and you can tell what its sex is. I know those against reproductive choice like to call a fetus a baby, but now a fetus is a woman too? If you can be a woman in the womb, then aren't there other rights they need to get to? Let's campaign for voting rights for fetuses. Maybe you can deliver campaign literature during those mandatory pre-abortion transvaginal ultrasounds that many of you conservatives favor. Does that mean that you support late-term abortions? I support late-term abortion in cases where the life or health of the mother is in jeopardy, as determined by her doctor, not by a politician and not by a Rush Limbaugh or Stephen Crowder wannabe. It's not my decision, nor is it yours, Daniel, and I hate to break it to you, but unless the fetus has a medical degree, then it's not the fetus's decision either. If you don't support late-term abortion, how the heck do you defend your pro-choice stance in the first place? Whether the abortion is done in the first trimester or in the very final stages, the outcome is going to be the same. A baby isn't going to be born. Can you please differentiate this for me? Actually, Daniel, I'm sure you're aware that the Catholics take that a step further and say that it's wrong to even have sex in a way that prevents pregnancy. After all, every sperm is sacred, and every time you fap, Jesus kills a kitten, right? You could draw your imaginary bright line of life before conception, at conception, at viability, or at birth, but we as a society have decided that it's generally not too late for women to decide whether they want to reproduce in the early stages of pregnancy, especially since there's no objective standard. No, whatever anyone thinks their deity is whispering to them is not relevant. Oh wait, so you do support late-term abortion. Does that mean that you support infanticide as well? You do know that scientists and the medical community see no difference between abortion and infanticide, right? Really? Scientists and the medical community say it's the same thing? I checked those two articles you flashed up on the screen, Daniel. They were both about the exact same paper, written by two medical ethicists last year. Thinking this one article to be the scientific and medical standard shows that you don't have the first clue about how standards work. As a sad but interesting aside, one of the articles you showed was written by Martin Boreas, who in an interview called gay rights a manifestation of the culture of death. I guess your invisible debate partner had never heard of Google. So if scientists see no difference between killing a born baby and a late-term abortion, and a late-term abortion accomplishes the exact same thing as an early-term abortion, then where does the sanctity of life exist? To me, the sanctity of life lies in how we treat those who we can all agree are human. I could make a whole video series on this topic, but maybe we should start with a discussion about how you think society should treat people after they're born. I think that conversation might leave you feeling a little bit less sanctimonious. Oh, hold on. There's no need to get angry. I'm just trying to understand your point of view. So what you're telling me is that you don't want me imposing my morality on you. So why then do we tell people that they can't steal, cheat, or murder? Does this mean that you believe in anarchy without any rule of law? Law in and of itself is moral. This is all predicated on you determining that abortion should be a crime, which you have utterly failed to establish. More importantly, did I hear you right that you believe law is by definition moral? Apparently you have the moral development of a four-year-old. I'm pretty sure the Crocodile Army can think of about a hundred different horrible laws that you just sanctioned with that statement. So if there was any way to tell that a baby was going to be gay and the parents decided to have an abortion, would that mean it's a hate crime or not? Actually, Daniel, I should be asking you if you think aborting a gay fetus should be an exception to stricter laws on abortion. After all, if you agree with the writer whom you cited in your video, maybe you think that would save our society, one abortion at a time.